Hello guys and welcome to the very first devlog for RP Project, which is the codename for a community driven effort to develop a roleplay based cops and robbers multiplayer game in Unreal Engine. Now what I mean by community driven is that anyone from the community can actually help out with the development of the game. So if you've got any skills you think we can use, hit me up in the Discord link in the description and we'll get you in, in the project. Um, I've actually got a 3D modeler and a level designer actually helping me out with the project so far. Um, the 3D modeler actually made some pickups, but that's part of the features, which I'll show you now. Okay, so there's an inventory system, obviously, which is a drag and drop inventory system. Um, they also stack up on each other, as you can see here. You can also uh, split uh, split off uh, d different uh, bits. You can also drop it from here. But if you wanted to drop, you know, say the whole stack, you can actually, actually drop it like that. Um, there's also some information. Um, there's value to each item, and there's also weight. You can also only fit so much, um, you know, items inside your inventory. But um, there's also a, a use mechanics so you know right now um, you must be able to get uh, a gas station obviously the gas station doesn't exist but that's that's pretty much the inventory system so um, the pickups uh, th these are just pretty much the different types of ammo you can get for the weapons I'll show you the weapon system uh, next but there's pretty much uh, so far there's a, me uh, a medikit uh, body armor obviously a uh, jerry can and a toolbox uh, the jerry can and toolbox are, are pretty much useless right now um, when the vehicle system comes obviously it's not created yet uh, but when that comes that will come in handy so you can actually um, repair and also refuel vehicles that are sort of um, stranded uh, around the map and you can't sort of get to a gas station but uh, those are pretty much uh, the, the, the pickup system so as you can see there's a pickup scanner and there's different types of, of um, pickups so there's ammo uh, consumables um, and also tools, uh, which is the jerry can and that. But that's uh, pretty much the pickup system uh, so far. Okay, so before I show you the weapon system, I've got a disclaimer. I've actually used TPSK, which is this asset on screen for the weapon and locomotion system. At my stage of development, I'm not very good with animation, so making a realistic or, or a good uh, locomotion and weapon system was not very uh, plausible for me, so I had to use an asset. So I went with uh, TPSK, which is very realistic, uh, you know, feel with the weapons and that, and I'll show you that right now. Okay, so for the weapon system, there's different types of attachments. Uh, so this is a normal pistol. Uh, th this is one with a laser, and this is one with a silencer. The other attachment uh, there can be is a flashlight, and each weapon can actually have different types of attachments. But for now, I've just got each pickup with uh, uh, um, the different types of attachments you can have. So obviously, we've got the normal pistol, but we've got a pistol with a laser. So as you can see, very, very realistic... Um, weapon system um here's the silencer as you can see it's um it, it's a lot more um well, obviously uh silenced and then, then we've got the revolver so uh that's uh, actually pretty cool so um the, the, the secondary weapons are the pistols and the melees. So as you can see, um, there's there's a, not a knife melee. Um, I'll show you that in a second, but there's also a police baton. And as you can see, because it's um, a secondary, it will get replaced uh, with the pistol. So you can only hold um, you know, a secondary weapon or, or a melee. So there's the police baton. And here is a, uh, a hunting knife, obviously. So those are the animations for that. And then we've got a shotgun, which is um, a primary uh, slot. So there's two primary slots uh, there's the, the shotgun I'll show you this one so oh, let's get a little bit closer there we go like that so there's the shotgun and that will actually be replaced by uh, the submachine gun if you, if you choose to have that one but then there's uh, the, the other pro uh, the other primary slot which is either assault rifles or snipers so we'll, I'll show you the sniper so far so here's a sniper without without a um, a, a silencer and here's one with a silencer and now, and and obviously um if you want to have um, an assault rifle um it will be swapped with the sniper so we've got a normal um we've got the we, we've got two different rifles we've got an automatic rifle an automatic rifle with laser automatic rifle with flashlight and an automatic rifle with silencer obviously um you know the same rifle can have all these d different attachments on the same rifle but I'll, I'll show you uh which one should i do i should show you you've seen the laser so let's see the flashlight so you can't really see the flashlight but there's the flashlight so this is the automatic rifle here's what the silencer sounds like 
is um and and the other type is a burst rifle so you've got an automatic rifle which is automatic and then you've got burst rifles where you press lmb and i'm holding it down and it only does little bursts so um obviously there's different types of attachments laser um flashlights and uh, oh there's a little bug there i've got to work out but anyway there's a um and this is what the silencer sounds like but uh those are the different types of weapons you can have so you can have two primary and uh, one secondary, which is either, you know, a handgun or a melee. Okay, so for the locomotion system, there's crouching. And also, you can, uh, when you're sprinting, you can press the crouch button to slide. And there's also automatic vaulting. So, uh, you'll actually automatic, automatically vault over things like that. And there's also a cover system. So, you can come up to a wall and press C. And you, you can go into cover like this. And there's also uh, blind, blind shooting, but also um, aim, aiming out of cover like that. And uh, there's also... Um, ladders i'll show you that in a second uh actually i'll show you this one now and um i'll, I'll, sh I'll show you the uh some more uh, ladder features over there but there's also uh falling logic so as you can see when i jump like that i'll actually crash to the ground like that okay the other cool thing i wanted to show you with the ladders is that you can actually jump um you know so say this is um, a building here and that's a building over there and there's a ladder you can actually run and jump onto the ladder and as you can see, you can go up and down, or down like that. Or if you, you're going down, you can actually press uh, shift and go down like that. Okay, so for future plans, I actually plan on making a clerk robbery system. So you'll be able to come up um, to clerks at general stores, ammunitions, and all that sort of stuff. And if you aim the gun at them, um, they'll start to panic and empty out the till. So that's how you'll be able to rob places like that. Um, but the, the problem is right now is um, I don't have an animator to help me out with those types of animations. So if you'd like to, uh, if, you, if you actually got some skills in animations and you'd like to help out with the project, hit me up in the Discord link in the description description and we'll get you on board okay guys so that's going to be it for this devlog so pretty much what i'm going to do is i'm going to post a devlog uh for every version so the next version is going to be version 1.1 and uh pretty much what i'm going to do in between uh the devlogs i'm going to be doing developer live streams uh where myself and or other developers will jump in on the live stream and uh we can talk about the things we're working on uh what we have planned we can answer questions and uh we can have a community discussion that way um i also plan to post random videos uh, you know um, about this project but from now on uh, this channel is going to uh, focus mainly on this project um, if you if you're from my last project uh, uh, zombie project uh, that's sort of scrapped now the the whole uh, the whole purpose of that game was for me to learn how to, to sort of um, you know build a game in Unreal Engine but I'm very confident um, with Unreal Engine now so uh, I'm actually at the point now where I can use my programming knowledge and um, if you if you're wondering what type of programming knowledge I have, I've actually been developing San Andreas multiplayer servers, which is similar to 5M uh, since 2010. So uh, that's about 14 years now, and I developed uh, m many uh, game modes. Some of them that that actually become uh, fairly popular. One of the one of the scripts actually. Um, exceeded over 50,000 lines of code and over 180,000 registered users so that's sort of my sort of um, skills sort of thing um, we've also got a 3d modeler which is so schizo and um, blizzard he's sort of working behind the scenes now just sort of the planning stages of, of what the map's going to be um, sort of the area the biome and all that sort of stuff so uh, we have uh, chosen sort of uh, a location it will be in america and it will be rural america so there will be potential Potentially a city, but it will be at a, a sort of distant part of the map. But the majority of the map is going to be like rural-based towns and that, and um, and all that sort of stuff. So pretty much the idea is going to, uh, is going to be like um, you know to build like a game that's similar to 5M and a San Andreas multiplayer roleplay uh, servers. Pretty much how they do it, because that type of uh, roleplay is is sort of achievable. Um, unlike all these asset flips, uh, specifically the roleplay based um, you know a a asset flips or, or, or the ones that um, you know fail um, 
that, that have this sort of um, game in mind. Uh, the reason why they fail is because they, they try to come up with these crazy ambitions that, that, that are sort of unachievable, uh, at least for an indie developer, and or they don't have enough programming experience to, to be able to deliver what, they're, what, what they have, you know, uh, visioned sort of thing. So that's why they sort of exist. And uh, that's actually sort of why I started this um, project. So um, is because uh, I think that this whole asset flip thing, um, you know, is very bad for the gaming community. I, I, I think um, Steam needs to stack, uh, step in and actually regulate these games to some sort of degree. Um, but what we need to do as indie developers, the ethical indie developers, is we need to take action, uh, actions like this. So uh, this is sort of a response to all the asset flips out there, specifically the RPG-based ones. Um, you know, I'll, I'll, put, I'll put a couple of on screen now. But uh, that's what we're going to be doing differently. We're going to be very transparent. We're going to have uh, um, there's actually a, a program documentation in the description, so that's going to have all the information about this game, uh, what we have planned, the milestones, and all that sort of stuff. So uh, yeah, that's where we are, and it's going to be community uh, community developed. So if you're watching this and you've got you've got some skills which you uh, think can uh, the the community can use. Uh, hit me up in the Discord link, link in the description. Check out the job section there. And we'll see you in the next devlog, guys. Peace.